All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants. Let's do another free agent film breakdown, this time on the Giants' new running back, Devin Singletary. Singletary's been a, a very solid back in his NFL career for the Bills and then uh, this past year for the Texans. He's efficient. He has good vision. He hits the hole at the right time. He sets guys up. You know, and he can make guys miss in, in short area. He's not going to be a big home run threat, right? He's not, you know, the most elusive guy, but he's going to do his job, and I think he's going to do it very well and i think you could put them in gap you know zone probably better in gap but good good stuff make sure to like and subscribe to the channel check out the playlist of all the other free agent film breakdowns and, and the podcast let's get into it first play so we're going to start outside in sorry we're going to start outside in we're going to work on some look at outside zone all right nice explosive run here i love the finish at the end of this so let's break it down Bengals run this run blitz, right? So they're going to shoot this player in here and then have 57 Pratt come over the top. So he does a good job of dealing with this penetration right here, right? That That's there, right? That makes it harder. And this linebacker are running free. So it has enough speed, enough patience to not widen this out and have to meet, you know, Pratt the sideline. But keep this upfield enough to avoid 96. Have some patience. Set up Pratt. And then when you get here, when you break down Pratt, go. And beat him to the corner. And I love this. I love the finish of this play. Put your shoulder in. The DB wants to come in and try and lay a big hit. You lay a bigger hit. Set the, set the tone. Another outside zone play. Going to set up Logan Wilson this time. Another good linebacker. It's only a four-yard gain, but this is good. Logan Wilson playing his gap, right? So we want to set him up. We want to throw this little right here. This little, this little, bah -bah, right? That forces him to stay in this gap instead of getting over the top. You get to the corner. You meet the corner. You get a four-yard gain. Here he's going to save a negative play. And we've got this penetration. we got the DBs feeling well. All right, they run this run blitz again. We've got this pressure in our face. All right, now we've got a DB. Enough speed, though, to skirt. Realize you're not getting to the corner. Cut up field. Hey, zero yard gain, but these, you know, he saved it from being a negative four yard loss. Here, this one's more just well blocked than it is a great play by Singletary, but still enough good burst to go out and and make an explosive run. Again, this is just kind of really well blocked. Fullback picks it up. Schultz does a great job turning shoulders. Go. Jalen Thompson makes the tackle twenty yards down the field. And then in this mid zone, right, which is setting up the cutbacks, right? We're starting wide, we're cutting back up. I think he's his ability to see a play breaking down and create something positive out of it is really, really good. And that's why he's always had high success rates. We're screwed, right? We're screwed right here. You got all this traffic back here. You're not getting out to the corner in this. Right? But you've got you've got everybody flowing. Put that foot in the ground. Get upfield. Just get whatever yards you can. It's a two-yard gain, but it stops it from being a, a negative two-yard gain, right? That's like a four yards added by Devin Singletary right there. Similar. Running this wide zone. 97 does a great job. The linebackers fill. Everybody's flowing. We're not getting out to the corner. We're not going to be able to get through here. Get upfield. You see this wall? Run across it. Scrape it. Scrape it. Get yourself a decent gain. All right, this time it develops better. We're in this wide zone. Shaq Mason does a good job. We're not going to work out here, but we're going to press it. We've got this backside pressure. Press it, press it, cut up field. 
find this gap, find this crease, go. Next play with the fullback. Bengals flow well. Again, this is not going to, following this is not going to work. You've got this right here. See it. Realize it. Cut up field. Get a turn, turn a negative play into a positive play. So he's got good cutback vision. We'll see that even in some gap runs. Here in some inside zone. Right? He's got the ability to make guys miss in a phone booth. We're reading 57. We've got a one on one with a DB. Press outside, cut. Just quick cut, speed cut, bam. Get up field, find green. Nice run, right? That's close to 15-yard gain. 12-yard gain. Good read on these, these, these zone runs. Right, we're working off Larry Tunsil. Right, we have this DB out here. He's filling outside, but he's good vision to read this player. Right, to see that he's working inside the close to fill this gap, which means he's on this gap. You've got a crease right here, but you press it. Right, press it, press it, jump cut, get positive yards. This time I'm going to bounce it for a big play. All right, so again, not the most explosive guy in the world. We're reading the zone, and they've closed this off, right? So immediately, immediately seeing this, that your guard got his ass kicked, bounce it, bam. Get to the corner, get yourself a nice run. Here's just a gritty touchdown run. This is well blocked, right? This is very well blocked, right? So just taking your easy run, right? Taking what's there. This is really well blocked. You got a hole. Go. Now your job is that when this is really well blocked and you're not having to set things up, you're not having to bounce, you're not having to cut back, when it is really well blocked, well, guess what? Now your job is to make one guy miss. We got everything else accounted for. Your job is now to make one guy miss. You put that right foot in the ground. You cut off of Mason's block. Bam. Right? Good contact balance stays up. And while four guys tackling him, he gets six on the board for the Texans. Good. I just let's just watch that. Good stuff. Explosive run. Good cut on this. We're reading 57. Right? Tunzel's going to seal that off. We want to keep this player out here, and we want to keep this player out here. Right? So we set it up. We press it, set it up. Get him here. You've got him playing this gap. Good block by Robert Woods. Put the foot in the ground. Get upfield. Create yourself an explosive run. Next play in the split zone. This is more a bad job by the DB, but still seeing it. That the DB is late to the shift. All right, And he's seeing this and he's like, okay, my job is to follow the hip. I'm following this. But it's split zone. All right, So he's he's here to block this player. And this should be a negative loss, but his eyes are on this. And by the time he realizes it, Singletary does a good job cutting. Not running right into it, seeing what this is. Cutting. And then you got green grass to get upfield. Next play, what do we got? Number 
Now this is, there is some bad cutbacks, right? Now, Robert Woods doing this butt block, right? Where you box him out. But I understand you see this coming here. Hit this hole and go. Hit this hole and go. Cutting this back is not going to work. Hit this hole and go. You try and make something out of nothing. And end you up getting a negative run. What if, in reality, you should have been getting up here, right? Wouldn't it have been a great gain? Wouldn't it have helped your stat book? But would have been a better outcome than this. And then this just kind of happens sometimes. Right? We're reading this. We're seeing that he has this outside leverage. But you're also reading this defensive tackle. And thinking that he wants to jump back inside. Right? So you want to set it up. We do a dance. You know, we're dancing. We're trying to set this up. Right? This little bit right here is trying to get this defensive tackle to try and work back inside. Then you have the wide receiver cracking down here. And then you get the one-on-one -on -one with the DB. But instead of just getting off your tackle's ass, you end up getting tackled to the line of scrimmage because you're dancing and trying to set some up. You know, but that, that does happen. But I, I do see the vision. Now counter. Teams have gotten really good at squeezing counter inside and turning it into negative yard negative runs. And the Bengals did do this very well. All right. He levers this. Pratt spills. Logan Wilson fills out here. There's nowhere to go, right? This is just a big mess. But instead of just running into the big mess, good vision, right? Good peripheral vision to get out here. Positive play. Another counter run. Good vision. Right? These gap runs, these guys know. They're at a disadvantage, so we got to get over quick. Right? They fill all this really well. Great job. This is how you draw it up on the whiteboard. But Titus Howard does a good job maintaining this block. You press it. It's not there. Cut it upfield. Another nice seven-yard run. Here, this cutback on this counter. It's a nice grid on this play. Right? To squeeze out another couple yards. All right, gets levered. We've got a mess. All right, we've got a mess. But Mason does a good job on this down block. We've got the hole that we have. Just keep your feet churning. Keep your feet churning. Get an extra couple yards. And then on these duo runs, right? You're trying to create double teams. You're reading the Mike linebacker. If he fills heavy, you bounce. If he doesn't, you slam it up the middle and you go through a dude's chest. All right, we're creating double teams. Doubling the here. So you press it up. And you run through his chest. I, I love that. Right? To just put your shoulder, keep your feet moving on contact, right? I mean, that's violent. The new NFL rules, they probably find them for that bullshit. Put it through his chest. That's it. That makes DBs not want to come up and play the run and fill the run well. Here, another duo run. We're going to bounce it. We're going to make guys miss. Logan Wilson fills this. Okay, that's our read. It's filled. Bounce it. Set up this DB. Get up field. 10 plus yard run. Successful. Now, there, this run is a bad bounce on this. Duo is not about creating the explosive. You're reading Pratt. He's sitting on his heels. Get into this hole and meet the linebacker in the hole. Right? It's not going to be a big, long run. It's going to be three, four yards. But that is what happens when you run duo. Get up. get Run through his chest the same way you did the DB. Instead, you only get a one or two, two yard run. And then some plays with the fullback. Crack toss. Just a good job following his blockers. Get up field, touchdown. Right, this is really well blocked.
Good job blocking here. Good job by Dalton Schultz. Get up field. Touchdown, Devin Singletary. Here they're going to run power. Making cats miss. Our guard's pulling. Make a guy miss. And then some of these ISO runs. Grit. I like that. Just good burst. Press it. Follow the block. Run through a guy's chest. Good job setting these up. Right? Like we talked about that before. Setting up linebackers. We're following our fullback. Right? So we show that we're going to work inside of our fullback, which allows our fullback to get to his outside shoulder. Linebacker works inside. Well, now we've got ourselves a run. Set that stuff up. Smart running. Same thing on this next play. We're pressing inside of the fullback. We want number 10 inside here. Get upfield. So Singletary is a good back, man. I, I like him a lot. Uh, I think he's the type of replacement you look for when you, you when you let a star running back like Saquon Barkley walk. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Drew Locke uh, video will come out later today. Jermaine Elamuno will probably put that out Wednesday morning. Uh, got a lot of uh, free agents the Giants are signing. So appreciate you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out everything we've got going on. I appreciate you. See you on the next one. Until then, let's go big.